Turn 37 um, went as planned. No mistake about the research because I forgot. So, first I did the shrine. Um, managed to level up the, the Watcher. I, I focused most of the experience on the Watcher because at Elite you get uh, Inflict Days. So now I've got plus two vision range thanks to the shrine. I reached there and um, I confirmed with my halfling that this is a watchtower controlled by Gab. So next turn I plan to use the shrine um, to get uh, uh, my movement points again. Take the maelstrom, hopefully take the city, we'll see. Uh, where the defenders take the second city. That would be good to take the second city first so that I maybe get a lot of the deep as a reward and then I can use it to take the city. Um, and then I would move north, clear the oyster reef and go for the sanctum. I plan to cast the Nod Serpent with this army but I'm waiting um, until next turn because it costs 120. I started casting it last turn, so I'm just wasting 10 casting points. But I'm saving 19, I think, in in gold, uh, in in mana. Sorry, uh, for the upkeep, 22 actually. Yeah. So it's I prefer to save 22 mana rather than uh, 20 CP because I need to be um, conservative with my mana. Then these two guys went here as planned. I sent the boar above to check and as I didn't see any defender I decided to, to go move toward the inn. I didn't realize it would be just at the border of the city so I'm, I'm staying here hoping that Gab won't spot me because if he sends one unit, normal unit, it has only three excess vision range, range so he would not see the boar here, he would check on the ground. Uh, even if he sees it, then my boar has regrow, so has a small chance of surviving. Even though his units also has regrowth probably thanks to the shrine. Then I sent this guy scooting as, uh, as planned. Um, I cleared the lost library, leveled up the phantasm warrior. So now he has Tireless, which is very useful for a Phantasm Warrior. And I managed to um, convert the Tigran Apprentice, giving him a Holy Weakness and um, inflict Spirit Breaking with my leader. It was about 50% chance. So the small mistake was I didn't change the research, as I said on the video from the previous turn. So I just got some it was only 17 research, so I got 17 research wasted on the horror, whereas I could have used it on Dispel or something else. Uh, the, s the spell I got as a reward is Black Lightning, which is not really useful. Then mm, I did the uh, Oyster Reef, so I'm showing gap where I am, but at the same time it's good to get the gold and the experience, especially, especially the experience. I got to elite with my knights and now he has um, strong will, which is very good versus a uh, theocrat. And I also got to gold with the ice queen, which means she has um, inflict freezing cold, which is also very, very strong. So now I've got a good army. I believe Gab, um, the number of high level units that Gab has is probably lower than me. Yeah, I probably can accumulate Lex, Lex experience because most of the sites on the map it was limited to the sites in this area. I cleared most of the other sites. Actually, now he's clearing the sites there too, but... Um, he cleared the um, Lost City this turn, so I guess his Saucer maybe is here, while his Necromancer might be there. But it is not clearing the gold mine. Um, 
this gold mine is also not cleared. I think. Yeah. Which is a bit weird. Then the ancient ruins are also are unso sorry, are also uncleared. Um he had the cherub there which I could see thanks to the watchtower, so I, I sent my anti scout to kill it and now I can stay here or there. Um actually I was I, I, I had calculated that I could move back to the to the mountains. Moving here actually is not really a very good move because then it can recruit some units there. Um, and then recruit the shock trooper and try to kill my um, eager rider, griffin rider. Sorry, oh, I said eager riders last turn also. Um, at the same time, moving on water is not really a solution either. So I guess I'm going to recruit one unit to guard the inn. Um, I need one unit that can kill a cherub, and I'm not really sure which one. At the same time Gab is probably going to cast some spells to kill it. So I guess let's take uh, initiate. So it's 67 gold but might save my uh, griffin so I guess that's worth it. Oh and I can send him check a little bit. Yeah, I cannot move further than this. I do have forestry. That's yeah. So let's move there with the griffin. Or actually I could just stay on the inn. I could have just stayed on the inn actually, but um yeah, okay. Let's let's do this anyway. If I stay on the inn he sees me. And then he might send he might send more troops. To um to kill it, whereas if it's here, I I have a small chance to survive if it doesn't have true sight in it, and it, it still takes the in. Also, I'm a bit further away for his for his movement point. I got one item back here. I guess I should get the other ones. Hmm, that's stupid. I sent two harpoon. I forgot I had sent the first one. Now I've got to send this one back but uh, let's keep it for now and I'll send it back later um, Gab oh yeah Gab did the, um, the two sites on the ground so in the end it didn't it looks like he didn't also my board didn't see him so it looks like he went there instead and cleared the animals Dane and the uh, box of cataclysm and so that's why we got blood blood moon he chose it um, yeah, and here I'm moving toward the cave entrance, and I'm probably going to try to destroy this um, and see what I can do. Thanks for watching, and oh, he's doing a lot of clearing actually. His his, his alignment is going lower and lower. And see you next turn for the attack of the vessel, hopefully.